real quick about the about the sub though. What are you expecting, Michael? Because you've reviewed a few monolith subs. Yeah. I have the THX ten. Yeah. So I know what and and Aaron, I think you've reviewed some monolith stuff too. Yeah. What are you guys kind of like expecting going into it? Honestly, I'm I'm pretty optimistic. I really am. Um, monolith has when I first reviewed. Mon- I'm, I'm like having to think through what I'm about to say so I don't say something <laughs> a Chana can drop. And <laughs> well, he'll, find, he'll figure out something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, just let it go, man. Just, just, just go. Just go, so, man. Yeah. That's going to be a bad show, but it'll be funny. <laughs> They're um, all good. <laughs> so several years ago when Monolith began producing like home theater stuff and subwoofers and amplifiers, I was like, that's got to be garbage, you know, because they're. I always thought of them as okay, just cheap cables, which is great, you know. It that's great for the consumers, but I thought, man, you know, how in the world could they make something like nice, like an amplifier, speakers, subwoofers? And the first one I got, I was like, oh, wait a minute, this thing's legit. Like this is a viable solution for a home theater. So I was really impressed. I've got the dual 15s, and that's just an that broke your things. situation, didn't it? Yeah, it knocked one of my speakers off my wall, and uh, partly that was, you know, it was a speaker that was hung up there with drywall anchor, and over time it had just wobbled loose, and so it wasn't the speaker really that did it, but it kind of finished it off. So, you think this is going to shake some walls? The thirteen? <sighs> I don't know though. I mean, How, I've never, like, I've you, never been, expect? I've never been amazingly impressed with a single. And hit, now here's the thing. So I measured it. Mm. I'm waiting on Chana. Uh, he's he's texting. He's texting. I'm, I'm I got I got I got Brandon B the installers asking me where he should place the Atmos channels for this client. Oh, there so, you go. Yeah. No so worries. look at that. Look at that. Doing doing a stream and, uh, and tech support. Much. This is Chana. How can I help you? That's you know? hilarious. That's hilarious. Um, and he's saying like he's saying to put the two high channels like more over the front speakers but the cu- customer wants them in the middle of the room and so i'm asking him only two high channels question mark go yeah. from there see what's happening anyway sorry so yeah you you measured you measured the oh, it enclosure does, it no i'm talking about just the driver because here's oh, the interesting okay. thing in one of my videos a long time ago i mentioned that the pb16 really is a 15 inch driver mm-hmm. and man there was a bunch of people oh that don't you know that's a 16 inch i'm like dude i pulled the tape measure out at max 15 and a half so it, it's they rounded up so i was just curious you know is, is monolith going to do the same thing and it actually measures like uh um 13 and three quarters so it's actually more than a 13 inch you know when mm. you're going from surround to surround so I'm like right. okay interesting but All i was right. curious to see because i just assumed okay it's just going to be a 12 inch and they're going to say it's a 13 inch for marketing and yeah. But no, it's legit. It's 13 and three quarter. See, so. Michael also does measurements. Yeah. Mine's just with a tape measure though, instead of a, a microphone. <laughs> measurements matter. Yeah, That's it right. is. Yeah, That's right, man. Well, I'm every, excited. I'm every, excited. Every quarter want, inch matters. I want to see what it could do. <laughs> no, he did that one on purpose. He had yeah, to. He, 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 he had, had to. to. <laughs> That's the only one I'm going to do on purpose tonight. So Every millimeter matters when it's only 40 to start with. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, I don't know what that. Could, oh yeah, that's really small in conversion. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I gotta think about it. Jason asks, you know, am I getting the 16 inch monolith? Probably not, to be honest. <clears throat> with you. I mean, like, it's a, it's a, it's a huge ordeal to, you know, maneuver these big, massive subwoofers and store them and. Oh, and know, what about the like, box? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Box. That's what. Yeah. I've been telling Hobie like. Man, yeah. I don't know. Like, you let me know when I can release the re- the review, yeah. because I don't want to be hanging out with the you know the box. Just like you know, it's huge. Mm-hmm. And then you take out the garage. sub, and it's huge. Yeah, Joe, yeah. So unbox it. We'll listen to it, measure it, do it, and then I'll put it back. And then put it back. Yeah, and it. It off. Get it out of here. It'll, Joe. Just take it's it up big, to the man. living room. The girls are like. I know. Transform it into a fort and just be like, "Sorry, Hobie, you need to send another box or something." Because you know, <laughs> like, now you're thinking. Now yeah. you're thinking. That is that is the the way to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's funny.